Hi everybody, it is June 1st, which is crazy and hard to believe. Um, we have a few things going on in June. So there's a special offer, a discount on designer papers that's all month long. There is a special offer on our starter kit. So you get way more, like $30 more for free in your starter kit. You always get free shipping, lots of other benefits. And then you get a discount on all of your future orders. So um, those are two big things happening in June. And then I have my card club, my cards here that I'm about to show you that I'm really excited about. Um, and so what I'm gonna do in this video is I'll, I'll flip the camera in a second and I'm gonna show you these cards in more detail, show you all the products, but what I really wanna spend some time on are the dies that come in this bundle. They're really cool, some of them are pretty unique, and so I want to actually cut those out and show you a little bit about how you can use them, and then of course the products that you get in the um, card club package and the cards themselves. So let's go ahead and get this flipped so we can get started. Let's see here. I feel like that is really dark. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we are really dark here. All right, I'm gonna grab a light. I'm gonna grab a light. Hold, look at the pretty pictures while you wait. <coughs> I'm hoping that helped. Kind of silly to run across the room during a live video, but I just don't know why it's so dark right now. <laughs> All right, we'll just we'll just do the best we can, right? And I can maybe edit later. Okay, so let's see where to start. Where to start? Let me pull in the cards real quick. Oh, I wish this was brighter. Um, let me see if I do this. That helps. I don't know. Real quickly, these are the cards. So I've got four different cards. And with the club package, you make two of each of these. I'll go back and show you particulars about each of them in just a minute. But um, I just wanted to show you those first because that's always the highlight, of course, right? So the beautiful balloons bundle. This is the stamp set here. Um, it's a photopolymer set and it's got 16 images. There's words, there's balloon shapes. I love this little streamer. There's confetti, all sorts of fun. And then there are the dies. And like I said, that's what I want to take a minute to show you. So what I've done is pulled in some of the dies and just set them over the um, stamped images that you see here in the catalog. So you've got three different sizes of balloons. So those are pretty straightforward. You can see that shaded line around the balloon and that shows you you know when you cut it out like this card you've got a little bit of a border so you can see the white card stuck through that so that's these three okay and then there's this little like tassel type thing on the balloon um you can see it in the sample right here how they stamped that and then cut it there so these are the four like pretty straightforward dies that are part of this bundle. So I'm gonna set those aside and then I'm gonna pull in these four. Now these cut like a solid out of cardstock or designer paper. You don't um, necessarily stamp anything. You just die cut these. So two different sized balloons and then two different sized stars. Now to show you, this is the larger star here. So I just cut this out of basic white cardstock and stamped my greeting on there. And then on this one, I used the, you see the holographic paper, isn't that fun? I used the smaller star to die cut that. Um, and so those are just some like added, added dies that don't necessarily coordinate to any particular stamped image. Then I want to show you this one. So what's unique about this, this 
I, I like the way they show it to you in the catalog here, but this stamp is actually just this right here. It's just a confetti piece. So these parts are, are light. They're like shaded like that because it's just the die. Okay. So let me show you what you can do with this. First of all, I will show you over here. You can see they've made like a shaker card. So they've die cut. Um, using this here, and then you can just make a shaker card with that. Actually, you could use just the other dies like this too to do that. And then this one here, die cut with this, and then you can see the designer paper behind. So what I want to do, I've got some scraps of lemon lime twist, and I'm just going to set this on this piece of cardstock just to show you. I'm going to run it through my stamp and cut and emboss machine, which is just slightly off camera here because I can't fit everything in. So I'm going to die cut that. And then what's unique about this is you've got this piece that you can work with on a card, but you've also got this, like the silhouette. And that's how they did this card here, placed it on there, put some designer paper behind. I could grab this just as an example, okay? So that's one die that's maybe a little less obvious on how you use it, but I'm so glad it's included because it just adds a lot of um, fun elements to the cards. Okay, um, another one that I want to show you is this here. It's just a tag. And so I'm going to run that through and show you that piece. And I use that on, which card? This one right here. So you can see the tag underneath. You kind of see through on the background. I, I can see the cardstock here and the designer paper here. And then I chose on this one to add the star over the top of it. So I've got this here and then it pops out and makes that fun tag. That hole is punched which makes it really easy to add ribbon or something like I did on this. I've got a gem on there too. And then if you wanted to, I mean, you could take your little paper piercing tool and get out all these little pieces and use them as confetti. If you were that ambitious, I am not, but it is an option. Okay, next up, I wanted to show, so I pointed out this little piece before. There's another piece, I'm just going to pull this back in. There's another piece that looks like this that adds a different kind of tassel to the project. So you can do that stamped image and cut it out, and that's what you have over here. Hopefully you can see that okay. But what I want to show you is this one up here. So, oops, it got left behind on the, so it's this piece here. So let me pull this up just a little bit more. So do you see how they have it coming off the end right here? So it's just this little tassel like that. I feel like there's all sorts of things you could do with this. I just haven't had time to really play too much, but it's just kind of a fun shape. All right, and then I've got two more to show you. Oops, this one is like some random confetti. But what I want to do is I'm going to cut it um, on here, and then I'll show you the card where I used it. So you can, you can really do it for two different purposes. You can die cut this for the sole purpose of getting some confetti. I'm going to pull over my whole cutting pad because the confetti is going to get left behind. So like, see these stars? You These are a little bit bigger than the one um, the ones that are left in this tag die. So, you know, you can use this as confetti to build a little shaker card, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to slide that confetti off on my table for now. Um, but what's also cool is you can use this like across some cardstock to make like a little border. And that is what I did on this card. So I actually set this on here two times and die cut that, put some striped um, designer paper behind it so that you see all those different colors coming through. So that's how I used 
that particular die. And then the last one I want to show you is possibly my favorite, although they're all pretty stinking cool. This, it just is like one long die with all these little pieces that are gonna cut. So let me go ahead and show you uh, what this does. I'm gonna run it through. And there's actually two different ways that you can use this die. And I'm really excited about each of them. So when I crank this through, I get this here. Now I could just, I could have done it straight, huh? but I could just leave it like this and add it as a layer to a card, right? I could, um, like if this is my card base, I could lay it on like this, do some other things up here. So that could just be like some accents on a layer like that. I could take it and again, I'm gonna have to kind of try to straighten it out as I cut since I didn't pay attention to making sure it was straight before I started, not sure why. Um, I could go like this and add this strip as an element on a card. And that is what I did on here. This card has so many um, just fun details. The triangles of designer paper in the background, the little confetti, the twine, the double greetings, both on the balloon and down here. But then I really like this piece. And all I did was that die cut just ran this through a strip of paper, cardstock, and then added it back there, okay? Now, one other thing you can do, notice these are just like cuts. There's edges on both sides. But if I put this in here and cut along the edge, now I've got this fun little fringe. Isn't that so cool? I was so excited by that die that you can use it as just the straight line elements like this card, or I did it with some designer paper and made the fringe along here. Isn't that so fun? I absolutely love it. It is it is so fun and there's so many um, creative things that you can do with it. You can layer the fringes. They kind of did that here. Lots and lots of options. Whether you use cardstock, designer paper, all sorts of options. Okay, so hopefully I've got all my dies in one pile so I don't misplace them. All right, so, <clears throat> excuse me, let me uh, maybe pull the catalog out of the way. So you've seen the samples here in the catalog. Um, and one of the things, I'm gonna flip it back to find, um, so this gold specialty paper, I'm showing it to you in the catalog because I don't have any left. Um, the gold celebration specialty paper, you've got some confetti, some streamers, some balloons. You're going to get several four by six pieces of this specialty paper. It's an acetate. So um, if you're old school, think like a window sheet that our teachers you know, used to use, a transparency window sheet. Uh, so that's an acetate sheet. There's three different patterns. You're gonna get several four by six sizes of those in your um, card club package. You're also going to get a half package of this designer paper. I think it's called uh, something beautiful. It's beautiful. I, I'll, I'll have to follow up with the name of the designer paper. It's with all the balloon stuff. But I wanna flip through so you can see the front and the back of each of these patterns. You're going to get a half package, which means you get two of each of these six by six patterns. So there's that. I use designer paper on each of the cards. You're also going to get these tinsel gems, and these are just really fun. I'm gonna pull them in. Hopefully you can see them. There's four different colors, and I, I'm, I'm not sure, but can you see that tinsel? A little shimmer in each of the gems. There's a little bit of sparkle in them. Um, there's two sizes of each of the four colors and you're gonna get a full package. Um, let's see what else. You're going to get some hologram paper. Again, I don't have any left. 
Um, but you're going to get four by six, um, several pieces of four by six hologram. There's a few different um, designs or patterns, whatever you'd say. Um, so you're going to get some of that. You're going to get some dimensionals. And then you're going to get the supplies to make two of each of these cards. So that means you get the card base, the envelopes, the card stock, you know, all that stuff. You're going to get the twine. Um, there's a couple different ribbons on this one. So you get the ribbon that you need. Um, and then, of course, you get the tutorial with step-by-step -step instructions, photos, everything you need to complete the cards. And what's great about Card Club is that you can do it whenever it's convenient for you. You're going to get the packet of supplies in the mail. If you want to complete them exactly as they're shown, you'll need the beautiful balloons bundle. So this stamp set and those awesome dies that I showed you. And you're going to need um, some ink pads. And the ink that I used, um, they're all new colors or returning. So um, the lemon lime twist, the blueberry bushel, and the berry burst, these are all former in color. So if you've been around stamping up a while, you might just have these in your stash. Um, so these are new core colors for us, but they are returning in colors. And then there's two brand new colors that I also used, the bubble bath and the uh, azure afternoon. Azure, I think, A-Z-U-R-E. I'm struggling today with these names, aren't I? So these are brand new Stampin' Up! colors, and I used all five of them. You can actually see them all five in these balloons. So I used all of them on these cards. Now, this is a starting point. Like, if you want to get the bundle, and that that's the stamp set and dies, and you want to get a couple ink pads, if that's all you can do right now, just do that and, and compromise, you know, just, just change it up a little bit. You don't have to have all the different colored balloons if you don't want to. It's totally up to you and what works best for you. So I'm just going to pull these in individually just so you can see some of the detail, the streamer in the background, all five balloons, the awesome little border confetti die that I used there. Keeping in mind, if I wanted to, I could take out those little stars and I could I could add them on the project here too if I wanted to. Um, and then you've got the tinsel gems and the happy birthday is raised up with statement dimensionals. This one, like I said, you've got the triangles of designer paper, the balloons, the twine, the greetings here and here, some confetti, this awesome die here. This one is that same die, but I cut the edge to make the fringe, the hologram designer paper, specialty paper stars. I like this curved greeting, this part of the stamp set. This is another one where I use two different greetings, some more designer paper down here, the little gem. And then this one, you've got two different designer papers, an embossed layer, the die cut tag, the die cut star with the greeting, gem, and the ribbons. So there's really a lot of detail on these when you when you stop and look closely. Um, it's It was very fun, very fun to create these cards. And I mean, we always need birthday cards, right? And there's some fun summer colors. So I just want to encourage you to get your card club. You can do that by paying the $35 Venmo, PayPal. You can send a check if you need to. Um, you just need to do it by June 15th. And then you will be part of my June card club and you will get your package in the mail from me. It'll be supplies to make two of each of these cards. So you're going to make eight cards total. You'll get that uh, gold acetate specialty paper, the holograph paper. You're going to get a half package of the, what I can't remember the name of, beautiful something designer paper that coordinates with the colors and uh, the balloon suite. And of course, of course, the tinsel gems, because they're really fun and pretty. They, they've got adhesive on the back, so they're super easy to work with too. All right, so I think that's everything. Thanks for hanging with me. It was a little bit longer than usual, but I just felt that it was important to show you all of those special dyes and the extra things that they can do. All right, thank you so much. Uh, look in the comments for links for everything that you need to know as far as details and ordering information so that you can order the coordinating products to complete these cards as shown. All right, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.